Hey there, AI enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a thought-provoking statement made by Jensen Huang, the co-founder and CEO of NVIDIA, the company at the heart of the AI revolution. You won't believe what he says kids should learn in the future. Spoiler alert, it's not computer science or programming. So, you're probably expecting me to say that everyone should learn computer science and programming, right? Well, Jensen Huang has a completely opposite view. Let's explore what he means by that. Imagine a world where the programming language is human. That's right. Jensen believes it's their job to create computing technology so that nobody has to program. The goal is to make AI accessible to everyone. Here at SynthMinds, an AI agency I co-founded, we're closely working with NVIDIA. We believe in the power of diverse backgrounds, like our team member Amy Zolito, who comes from healthcare. We've trained and taught close to 20 000 people about AI from all ages and walks of life. We believe that prompt engineering is the new programming language and can have a significant impact on organizations. Imagine my excitement when NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang echoed our sentiments at the World Government Summit. He said everybody in the world is now a programmer. This is the miracle of artificial intelligence. <laughs> Jensen believes that the technology divide has been closed, making it easier for everyone to engage with AI. He emphasizes the importance of upskilling everyone to adapt to this new era. Prompt engineering is becoming easier thanks to smart AI engineers working in the background. They optimize chat interfaces, enabling a few vague words to generate amazing outcomes like DAL3 or Copilot. But there's a catch. Sometimes these chatbots get so optimized that they take away some control. Remember Gemini from Google? It went viral for all the wrong reasons, refusing to generate white people and over-optimizing for inclusivity. Even Sam Altman hints at a future where coding will still be important, but it will change. He believes that understanding how to get computers to do what you intend is the world we're heading towards. As AI becomes more accessible, it's crucial to learn how to interact with it effectively. Domain expertise and problem-solving skills will be more valuable than ever. Jensen Huang suggests that life sciences, particularly digital biology, will be a crucial field in the future. He believes that digital biology will become a field of engineering, not just science. If you're interested in getting into AI or learning how to use it, I recommend exploring it with other people. Check out the Uplimit courses we have for image and data analytics, AI and chat, GPT for everyone, and the advanced course. Now, we want to hear from you. How do you feel about programming and prompt engineering? What has been your experience and journey in 2023, and what's your approach for 2024? I've been going through some personal stuff, but I promise to upload videos more consistently. Thank you for watching and sticking around. Your support means the world to us here at All About AI Tech.